All right, you birds. I wanted to show you this battery here, this switch battery. These are all 450 and tax and shipping and that and import duty and etc. And this is the third one I've had. I bought this switch kit for 1150 bucks. It took like six months to get here. There was a surprise $80 import cross the border thing. I'm part of the United Snakes, so you know it's it's different here. Um, but the first battery it provided good service for about two miles and then it would slowly wear out and by mile 10 you were done. You were pushing the bike home. And the motor that comes with it is kind of always resistant, so it's not like you can just switch the battery off and pedal like a normal bicycle. It's You're pushing a bunch of drag. Anyway, I, they contacted me and said, how'd you like your bike? I said, it's crap. They said, we'll send you a battery. So they sent me a battery that was worse than the first one, and they sent me an email. How'd you like your bike? I said, it's crap. And they sent me another battery, which came from Norway, I think, in the wrong box. It was an Eco, and this is supposed to be a something else. They come in two sizes. Presumably, they have less batteries in the other one or something, the shorter mileage thing. Anyway, this one, which as brand new received, you charge it up at 10 o'clock at night, you get up at 6 the next morning, and it would already be 10% or 20% discharged. And it would take you about five or six miles and fail in anyway. Um, so I've taken this all to bits just to see what's inside. And what I expected to find was one dead cell in each of these. And I didn't. They're all crap. They're all, uh, they, they uh, measure as uh, 3.6 volts each. However, they just don't hold the charge or produce electricity. So not sure what the deal is there. Um, this kind of folds together like that. This little package here insulates and keeps the, the thing in form. Um, this was the, um, I was just curious to see what was in here. It was obvious I wasn't going to get any use out of it. I thought I might be able to take these apart and repurpose them for something else. Um, this is the the lash up for the wheel and whatnot to go in the in the front mount. This is the case, which is too tight. You need pliers to unzip it. It's the wrong size. This is kind of a little thing to show you the... Um... Okay, here I've, I've got the switch turned on. If we hold that, you can see that this comes up and it does hold power. This one is the original. It's okay. It's not great. It's not good. It's not satisfactory. It's the reason the other batteries were applied for. And um, at least it holds a charge when you're not using it. It does run down pretty quickly. Here's some other things that were inside the case. This is some kind of a, a controller for the motor. This interacts, I think, with the... Um, oh, okay, here's this. This is part and parcel of the... goes in here and, and is, is this arrangement for the working model. That's just the little readout thing. Um, so this, uh, hooks up, I think, to the little, the crank sensor, so it can kind of tell how fast you're going, and that part of it does work acceptably well, it just doesn't work very long or very far, and if you have to go up a hill, it just flattens the battery completely. I just watched a thing on the Brompton Brilliant Bikes thing, and this lady rides up a 10 mile long straight up hill and does it six times in a row you know you wouldn't make it a hundred yards using this this switch system so i don't know what's up with that this is something else this is part of the battery conditioner which is probably according to the guy at nasa i talked to this is probably the fault this is a terrible design apparently not this one in particular and we can't even tell what it is because it just kind of shreds itself when it comes apart no matter how careful you are these are automotive fuses designed to protect the battery. This is where I unsoldered it from the actual pack. And again, the guy at NASA that I talked to, he said that they tested hundreds of these batteries and they used them in the um, space shuttle, which is now stuck in orbit somewhere. So there you go. Probably not this battery's fault. But he said these were among the best they tested. And they, in fact, put them in all kinds of solar deals and and said they're top drawer, the best kind, highly reliable. And my guess is these are what fell off of the floor. The sweepings, you know, the things that didn't pass whatever inspection they give. And that's the only thing I could come up with, you know, why there would be such a variance in the different packs. It's just a terrible product, um, a huge waste of money. 
Uh, like I say, really, it, this system really goes for about two to three miles, and after that, the drop-off is almost instantaneous. That's just on a flat. That's if you're pedaling the whole time. Anyway, that's my take on it. You can kind of see how it all goes together. It fits in this little case here, and this folds up, and this goes inside, squeezes just barely into this little sausage of a package here, and then this thing kind of clips on to part of... Uh, the bicycle where I don't have the bike here right now with the one where the motor is and the mounting lash up but it's pretty uh it's not hard to install yourself I just recommend you you know get the Brompton one which is probably about double what I would pay for a decent running used car their bicycle battery setup system so anyway there's my take on it there's what it looks like inside draw your own conclusions and uh Carry on best you can. Keep pedaling.